Hey there guys, how are you doing today? My name is of course Callum and today I'm going to bring you a quick and easy tutorial on how to add different mod dependencies to your FS2025 map. So what you want to do is you want to go find your shed or whatever mod you want to, for your map. So for example, I'm going to be using this cow shed oh, from the, the FS25 from Simulator mod hub. So it's this one, what I'm going to be doing. So I go download that. What you want to do is you want to put that inside your mods folder, for example, just here. So what you want to do is you want to open up your maps mod description, XML. You then want to copy this information and then I go, you want to place it underneath your store items. It has to be that last one with the slash. So I'm going to just copy that there. So as you see here, it says FS25 mod name. So mine is called, uh, what is it called? Large UK Cow Shed. Large UK Cow Shed. Make sure, Large UK Cow Shed. Large UK Cow Shed. Okay, cool. Save that. Cross it off. Because we don't need it anymore. So all you got to do is head over to your map folder. Get ready for the next stage. What we're going to do now is we're going to head over into Farm Simulator 2025. So what this is going to do is going to allow mods inside your mods directory, your mods folder, to be used inside your uh, your map. So basically when anyone downloads the map, it downloads the mod as well. Unless they've already got it in, in the uh, mods folder. So what you want to do is you want to open or create a new save game so for example I'm going to use save game 20 do take a note I'm going to give myself a million pounds and I'm going to deselect all the mods so if this works you will see that it requires UK Lao large cow barn do you want to select all required mods yes so if I didn't have that mod in my mods folder what it would do is it will open that little screen up uh, for the mod hub and it will take it to the page and it will download uh, You can download that mod that way if let's say for example I haven't got it it will download it and then what you do is you then go into career uh, Start your new save game or continue it So then that will download it into your mod folder and so, so forth So we're going to finish compiling shaders We're going to press start. Yes. So, as you see, we, we, I'm going to be over here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to press P. We're going to go into the through lines construction. We're going to head over to the cow because mine's a cow shed. And we're just going to select the shed. You'll know if it's working because the actual shed will show up. Where is my yard? There it is. So this one I'm going to place two. I'm going to place one over here and then one over here. So I'm going to place that one. Like that. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to do the one with solar panels next. So I'm going to place that one. This shed. Actually make sure... I'm going to place the shed just, actually I'm going to bring the shed there. As you see, it's it's uh, formed, it's sculpted the land. So this bit's critical. Uh, this next bit in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to visit the large cow sheds, make sure that they're here and that they're all, it's how you like them. Cool. Make, make, let me just prove that they do work. They do work. Obviously, I'm going to need to sculpt the land. So let's... I'm not going to purchase any animals, but they do show up. You can have 150 of them. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to save the map. So, I'll save the game, sorry. When it's done. Jeez. Right, we're going to alt F4 because we don't need that anymore for a minute. So what we need to do is we need to head over to save game 20 or whatever save game number you've just done that on. 
So, we're going to head over to the placeables. We're going to open up the placeables XML. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and we'll see this. So, because I've placed two, I've got two of the same things here. So, what you want to do is you want to copy from that placeable to that slash placeable if you've only got the one. But because I've got the two, I need the, the, the two. So, you want to pick the placeable, not the placeables. So, the one before the last one. We're going to press Control C. Head over to your Form Simulator map. So, we're going to go to mods, map. And we're going to go to map and we're going to go into config and then placeables xml we're going to open it it should if you've already got stuff in it great if not you'll be doing it first so you want to press Control v before the last placeables so it looks something like that again we've got these two here we're going to press Control s to save we can close that placeables xml so, we're going to head over back to save game 20 or whatever your save game is. And we need to copy the terrain.height map. Press Ctrl C. Head over to your mods. Head over to your map. We're going to go to map, data, and we're going to delete the DEM. We're going to press Ctrl V. So that terrain height map is now copied and pasted. We're going to rename it DEM. Okay, so now we've got the information for the mod description. We've got the mod. Uh, we've got the information for the placeables, and now we've got the ground deformation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to relaunch FS twenty twenty five. Any minute now. Any minute. Steam's kind of slow. There we go. We're going to create. We're going to do a different save game just to prove that the land does work. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on empty save game 14. We're going to head over to the the map again. I'm going to give myself a million pound. I'm going to deselect all of my mods and then press enter. Now it's going to say the hilltop farm requires UK large cow, large cow barn. We're going to press yes and we're going to press yes again or select. Right, we're going to press start, we're going to come out of that, and what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the map and we're going to press on one of the cow sheds, the cow barns. As you see, it's been placed, it's been placed on the sculpted land already, while it, while it did itself previously. And what we're going to do is we're going to buy some cows. Let's purchase 20 of those, let's purchase 20 of the mothers. Actually, let's just buy 130, shall we? So, they're all here. Oh, we, we get, oh, I'm locked myself in. And shut the, shut the gate. So, as you see, they're all happy lay down on the floor. All standing. So, now we're going to head over to this shed, this barn. Open the gate. And then, we're just going to fill this one up. Let's go 20. And let's fill the rest up with 130. Again, they're here. The happy, happy days. So, yeah. That is how. We're looking at Moo. She's on the Moo. Ha. Ah. Anyway. Anyway, it's a bit sidetracked there. So, again, the ground deformate. The, the, the ground deformed to the shed 
shouldn't go through any of the land. So yeah. Guys, any issues, join us on the Discord. Feel free to ask for help. We're all here to help each other. Uh, don't forget to post your whip and whatnot. We're all here. Any, any photos, actually. If you've got any photos you want to come and share, you're more than welcome to. Please. And don't forget your, your whips and whatnot. And then any modern tutorials. They're all here for you. So this is how you add uh, mod dependencies to your FS2025 map. I've been Callum. Any comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if it, if it helped. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And goodbye.